in Lafitte area, the Kerner Bridge leading to the Barataria side was struck by a vessel and uh, damaged it. It's impassable now. So the Barataria side is cut off and uh, first responders in the local area uh, are unable to get over there. We have been brought to help support local civil authorities. We're here to build a float bridge that will ferry first responder vehicles across when needed and they will ferry back and forth between the Lafitte side and the Barataria side. These aren't actual places where ferries were built to, to happen so uh, we've got to kind of adapt to our situation here. The reason why we went with a bigger ferry is because of the fire trucks are heavier and uh, any other kind of heavy equipment that needs to get to the other side to clear roads. That's why we, we built this one a little bigger than, than what we could have. But we're only taking first responder vehicles across. Since the storm kicked up all this marsh grass and uh, messed up a bunch of crab nets on the bottom of our boats, there's uh, these intake uh, areas where the water comes up into and it's just pulling up all that trash from the storm and uh, it slows us down. So that's another challenge we're not used to. And, uh, but we're adapting as we work and as we go along to try to complete this mission. The National Guard is, is here to help. A lot of our, the guys in the unit here are from the local area. And so we're glad to uh, come out and help our community. That's part of the National Guard's mission. It's always great to support local civil authorities. We're always here to support uh, the state of Louisiana.